Hi, this is Kevin. Welcome to part three of my tutorial for the forms coding assignment. In parts one and two, uh, we did the uh, uh, create uh, pages and then the update uh, pages. Now we're going to do the delete uh, pages. And then this is the final part of this week's uh, assignment. Okay. Um, we're going to kind of take a slightly different approach, okay? Uh, we're going to work together on three of the model classes, registration, instructor, and section. And then you're going to work on your own on the last three, course, semester, and student. It turns out that registration is a little different from the other model classes and I want to explain why okay whenever we're working with a relational uh, database okay uh, we need to make sure that we maintain uh, referential integrity what do we mean by that well we mean that when we have a row in a table that uh, contains a foreign key and that points to a row in another table, we have to make sure that we're really careful when we're doing deletes in the table that's being pointed to because we don't want to orphan the rows that are pointing to it. And in fact, when we created our model classes, we explicitly said that we wanted to protect those rows and let's uh, take a look at that part of the model class okay so let's go to models.py and let's go to oh a model class like instructor okay where is instructor it's right here okay uh, oh so we don't have uh, instructor is not pointing to anything, so that's a bad example. But we could look at um, section, and we could see that it points to instructor. Okay, so each section is taught by an instructor and we set up a foreign key and we say on delete models protect which says uh, if somebody tries to delete the instructor that we're pointing to don't allow them to do the delete protect this um, relationship by not allowing an instructor who we're pointing to to be deleted. Okay, so let's look back at our entity relationship uh, diagram. Uh, what table do we have that's not being pointed to by a foreign key? Well, it turns out we only have one registration. Okay. Um, everything else uh, has has a foreign key on another table that points it to it. So it, it, it turns out that when we go to a delete a registration, we only have to know that they really want to do it. We're going to do this thing where we we send them a confirmation uh, page, but uh, that's all that we have to do. What we're going to see when we go, uh, the next thing we're going to do is instructor. We're going to see that when we're asked to delete an instructor, before we send them a confirmation page, we're going to look and see if that instructor is teaching any sections. If they are, we're going to refuse to do the delete. So that's why the registration is different. It's easier. That's where we're going to begin. Okay. So let's look at the list of things that we need to do. The first thing that we need to do is to create a uh, URL pattern for instructor delete. OK, let's do that. Let's go to URLs.py. 
Okay. Oh, and it's not instructor uh, delete. We're beginning with registration. So r registration delete is going to be the last of the URL patterns. Okay. And I am going to uh, copy that from my already coded version. And uh, I'm expecting you to type yours in. Okay. So uh, the URL string is registration slash an int uh, for the primary key, a slash delete a slash. Okay, and then the view that we haven't created yet, but we will, it's called registration delete. Okay, and the the name of this URL pattern is course info registration delete URL pattern. Okay, and now we're going to need an import for registration delete. And I typically type those in by hand, so I'm going to go up and add that at the bottom of my list, registration delete, put a comma after it, not a period, a comma, and that's uh, good. Okay, what's the next thing on our list? The next thing is to add a get delete URL method to the model class. Okay, let's do that. So we're going to go to models.py. We'll put that right there. And we want the registration model class. That's the last in the file. Okay. And the get delete URL is going to go right after the get update URL. Okay. And I am going to I'm going to go find that code in my already coded version, my already baked version, and I'm going to copy it in. Okay, and this is pretty easy. Uh, um, it, we're going to send uh, the primary key, and we're going to send the the name of the URL pattern for the delete, which we just uh, did. Uh, course info, registration, registration, delete URL pattern. Okay, that looks good. So we've got two things done. What's number three? Well, uh, we need to go to views.py and add in this case, registration delete. Well, let's look at that. Let's go to views.py. Open that up. Okay, and registration delete is going to be down at the bottom again. Okay, all the way at the end. And I'm going to go, I'm going to copy this. Now, you should have a starter file for this. You should have something that's called uh, views code snippet for registration delete. Okay, so you should be able to open that um, open that file and copy the text out of it. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm practicing using the tools I'm giving you. So let's see, we need two blank lines and paste it down here. All right, so let's just take a look at that code, okay? Uh, it, has, it has a get and a post. It has support for two of the HTTP methods. Uh, and in each case, we want to get a copy of the object, okay, and, um, uh, oh, I can already see a coding error here. Uh, this is not a material coding error, but I'm going to change it in your code that you're going to, uh, you're going to download, but this get object is getting a registration. So registration 
uh, we're going to get object or 404. Uh, it's a registration uh, type, and then we're going to return the variable registration. It really doesn't matter if we call it the wrong thing, but it's not good uh, at documentation. And I'm just going to go over and change it in your code as well so that um, the code that you download is not going to have the mistake in it. And that looks like that's fixed too. Okay. So uh, both uh, the get and the post call get object and it re returns the re registration object. Okay. Uh, if this is a get, okay, um, then we do uh, the following thing. We don't want to just do the delete, okay? Um, it's customary, if you can't easily undo some action, to prompt the user to ask them if they're sure that they really would like to do it. Now, that's not really appealing interaction uh, design. But the fact is, if you can't undo it, uh, you're stuck having to ask them if they really mean it. Because if they accidentally it, it delete a data that they want to keep, it's going to be a lot of work for them to enter it again. OK? It'd be nice if we had some kind of easy undo, uh, but we don't. OK? So we are going to send them a, a confirmation page. And the confirmation page is, says, uh, here's what you're trying to do. Do you really want to do it? And if they click, uh, yeah, I want to do the delete, then we're going to come back and we're going to do the delete. OK, so on the get, they have clicked on the delete link, and we send them the confirmation uh, page. On the post, we're receiving the confirmation page, OK, and they have clicked delete. OK, so we get the object, we delete it, and then we redirect it to the registration list page. Why is that? Well, we can't go back to the detail page. It's gone. All right. So again, depending upon which way we come into this, if we come in with a get, then we're going to send the confirmation page. If we come in with a post, that means that they clicked the delete button on the confirmation uh, page. And we're going to go ahead and do the delete. And we're going to redirect to the registration list. OK, so that's all the code we need there. All right, let's. Um, Oh, we're going to need the confirm uh, delete uh, file. OK, so I gave you in your um, starter files a, a file called instructor confirm delete. And I just want you to copy this in here. OK, so I'm going to do a copy just like you will. And we're going to paste it in with the templates. And it's called Instructor Confirm Delete. So what do we have here? Well, this is the confirmation uh, page. So uh, the title is Delete. Oh, this is interesting. Uh, it's Delete Instructor. Well, I'm going to pause this and get this uh, fixed. I will be right back. OK, we're back. And I apologize for, for that. I changed the order in which we're doing things. Right? And um, so uh, originally, I was doing instructor first. Uh, I decided now, because Registration's a little uh, 
different. We'll do that first. So now what I've done is I've given you a copy of the registration, the confirm, hit delete uh, page. You'll need to copy in the instructor one too when we get down there. But um, so I'm going to copy the registration, confirm, delete, and paste it in here and confirm that. Okay, so now I have both the instructor confirm uh, delete page and the registration one. Uh, so it says delete registration, that's what the title is. And then the uh, we have a form, okay. The URL for the action is gonna come from registration get delete URL. We've already coded that. Um, so we're okay there. It's a post. Uh, it, it has the anti-hacking uh, token. We say, are you sure that you want to delete registration? And then we pop out the name of the registration with a template uh, tag. Okay. And then uh, we, we've got two things. We have a cancel link. Okay. So if in fact I want to cancel, we send them back to uh, the detail page. That's that's the URL that you get from registration gets uh, absolute URL that goes to the detail page. Okay, and then uh, otherwise, if they click on the button, the button says delete registration. It's just what we want, and that will in fact. The post will come in and we'll do the delete. Okay, so we've got that. Um, okay, number five. This is the one that we're not going to do for registration. This is, this is a page where we would refuse to delete it if it was involved in relationships that would break referential integrity if we did the delete that applies to all the tables but registration so nothing to do uh, for item five item six we need to put the delete link for delete registration we need to put that on the detail page registration detail so let's go do that. We're going to find registration detail. Okay. And we already have the link for the edit. So we want to add a line where we'll paste in the link here. And let me go find my already coded version right here and copy the link out. And you're going to have to type yours in. Okay. Okay. So we have a, a, a link with uh, in the href. We've got registration get delete URL. So that's going to connect it to the delete. Uh, and then the text for the link is delete registration. Just what we want. So now we should have made all the changes Okay, we're down through six. We just have to test. Okay, so I'm going to uh, crank up the, the server, run the manage.py task, do a run server. That looks like it worked. Probably no coding errors. And my browser came up on another monitor. So let's go to registrations. And here's a list of all the registrations. Okay. So if we pick a registration that we have here, let's create a new one. I don't want to get rid of any of that data. So let's create a new one. New registration. I'm going to... Um, I'm going to register Thomas Jefferson uh, for this in this IS 999. Create the registration. There it is right there. 
Okay, now I'm on the detail page. I have the link for the delete. Let's click on that. It gives me the confirmation page. Are you sure that you want to delete registration? And then there's the the name of the registration, a combination of the name of the section and the name of the student. If I cancel, I should go right back to the detail page. Yep, right back to the detail page. Uh, I'm going to click the delete again. And if I, uh, if I click on the button, it should do the delete. It did the delete. It took me back to the registration list. We have to go back to the list because there is no detail page, right? That registration is gone. Okay, well that worked uh, terrific. Uh, time to go on to the next part. What's the next part? Well, we're going to do all those actions for instructor. It's going to be different because uh, the view code is going to be a bit more uh, complex because it has to figure out uh, if it wants to send you a confirmation page or a refusal page. Okay. So um, but that's going to be a little more uh, complicated. So let's get started. The first thing that we do is item one, create the URL pattern. pattern. So let's go do that. Go to urls.py. And we want to go up on instructor. Those are up high. Instructor update. So we want this to go right after instructor update. Okay. And I'm just going to copy this from my already baked version. Okay, so right after instructor update, I've got instructor delete. Okay, I could have created this by cloning it, but I'm, I'm going to show you that in the next time when we do when we do this section. Okay, okay, so it's instructor, integer, delete. Uh, Make sure you have a final slash. The view name is instructor delete. We don't have an import for it. We're going to have to add one. And then uh, the name of the pattern is course info instructor delete. OK, so let's add instructor delete up with the imports. Instructor delete, comma. That's good. Okay, now here's one that I forget from, from at time to time. For a, a lot of times, instead of doing number two, which is which is to add the get delete URL to the model class, I'll forget to do that and go right to the view. But you can't do that. So let's add get delete URL to the instructor model class. So I'm going to go to models and instructor is kind of towards the middle, I think. Let's find instructor. It's right before student, I think. Okay. And get absolute URL, get update URL, a couple of blank lines after that. And let's um, let's copy that from the already coded version. So get delete URL is like this. So I'm copying it, but you're going to have to type yours in. Okay. So it's get delete URL. The URL pattern associated with it is instructor delete URL pattern. And then we're passing in the primary key. So item two is done. Let's go look at item three. So here's where we have to we have to put in the view code for instructor delete. Okay. So let's go to views.py and instructor delete would be at the end of the instructor views. So let's go see the last one there. There's a missing blank line. I'll put that in. Instructor views. Getting close. 
instructor update. So right after instructor update, we want instructor delete. So put uh, some blank lines there. Okay. And um, I'm thinking that you should have the the view code for instructor delete right here and we do it's in a file called view code snippet for instructor delete so I'm just going to open that on my machine and you do the same on yours and we're going to copy the text out of that snippet file and we're going to paste it into views.py. Okay. And what we're going to see here is um, more complex code than we had for the view for um, registrations. Why is that? Well, we either want to send back a confirm a page or a refuse a page. We're going to confirm uh, if we're not worried about it deleting a row that has other rows pointing to it with uh, foreign keys. Okay, we'll just send back a, a confirm page. Uh, if we have rows that are pointing to it, with foreign keys, well then we want to send back a refusal page and the refusal page will have the details. Okay, so uh, the refusal a page, um, that's if the count of the uh, sections is greater than zero. So we retrieve the instructor, we retrieve the list of sections, okay, if it has greater than zero sections, then we want to send back a refusal page, okay. Uh, uh, this one's called instructor refuse delete.html. That's the name of the template. And then, of course, in the context, we have to send uh, the instructor and a list of the sections. On the other hand, if we are sending a confirmation page, okay, if the number of sections is zero, we're going to get to this else and we're going to return instructor confirm delete. That's the delete confirmation page for instructor. And then, of course, we only have to pass the instructor so we can in the template we're able to pull out the name okay so that's how that goes all right and then um this get object or 404 is uh just the way that both the get and the post get the instructor object um and then the um the post uh, has pretty much the same logic that the post uh, had for the the um, registrations. Uh, okay, we we find the instructor. Okay, we do the delete. Okay, uh, and then we go uh, we forward to the instructor list again. Why do we go to the list? Well, there's no detail left for this instructor. We just deleted it. Okay, so the natural place to go to is the instructor list uh, page. All right, that's the view code. All right, we've done that. That's number three. Number four is we need a uh, instructor confirm delete.html file and I should have given that to you in your starters let me find that uh, instructor confirm delete I have it here so you should have it with your uh, with your downloads okay 
and I'm going to copy and paste it in with the templates. Okay, and we already had that because uh, we copied it in before. So you may have already copied yours in before. But this is just a confirmation for the instructor. Uh, so, you know, the action is the get delete URL for instructor. Uh, are you sure that you want to delete instructor? And then we pull the name out of the object. And then if we uh, if they click the cancel link, we go back to the detail page for that instructor. And if they click the submit button, well, then we we do the delete. We do the do delete because this form is a post and we're going to link up with the post method uh, in the view code. All right, so that looks pretty good. Now, we've got a couple more things to do for this one. Uh, number five, so if appropriate, well, it's appropriate for everything but the model of the registration model class, and we're on instructor, so it's appropriate for us. Uh, we have to get the refuse delete HTML file. So I believe we have instructor refuse delete in our starter files. We do. So you should have one to copy in. So we're going to copy it and paste it in with the templates. OK. And what's going on here? Well, um, error deleting instructor. You may not delete instructor and then we pull the name out of the instructor object. This instructor is currently assigned to the following sections. OK, so then we have a section list for section and sections. And then we're putting out a link uh, to the detail pages for each of the, each of the sections. Right? And one of the really nice things about this kind of uh, page is that it doesn't only say, no, you're not allowed to delete that. It tells you why, and it gives you the links that you need to go investigate the data that's causing the problem. Okay, so this style for a refusal page is what we want in this kind of application. You don't just want to be telling people you can't do a delete. You figure out why. No, you should you should say, well, you can't do a delete, and it's because of the data that we found. And here are links to all the things that we found so you can go investigate them. OK, so that's that. That one's all done. That's fine. Okay, and then in the uh, the detail.html file, in this case, it's instructor detail.html file, we need to add a link. So let's go to instructor detail. That's right here. Okay, and we have a link for edit. Now we want to add a blank line to copy over our link. Okay, and I'm going to copy mine. Um, from my already coded version. All right, and you're going to have to type yours in. Okay. Okay, so the link is to uh, get delete URL on the instructor object, and the the type that's going to be uh, displayed on the link is delete instructor. OK, so that should be all of it. All right. Uh, we're down through six. We just have to do number seven, which is the testing. Let's do that. OK, so the link should still be good. And it looks like I didn't have any coding, any obvious uh, coding errors because they came right up. So let's go to the list of instructors. OK. See, here are all my instructors. I want to create a new one 
who's not who's not assigned to teaching any sections yet um just so they'll be easy to <laughs> delete um so i'm going to call this uh person uh reggie reggie red shirt red shirts are characters in science uh, fiction uh, shows who you know are going to die before the end of the episode okay um I guess that's a tradition that started in Star Trek. Okay, so let's create the instructor. And now we're on the detail page for Reggie Redshirt. And now we want to delete him. So we'll click on delete. And uh, we have a cancel option and a delete uh, button. So let's click on cancel. Yeah, we went right back to the detail page for Reggie. Now let's pick delete. Okay, now we go to the confirmation page. And if we click the button, delete instructor, now we go back to the instructor list where we're supposed to go and Reggie is gone. So that test worked great. All right, what's next? Well, we've got one more that we're gonna do together and that is section. We're going to do section by cloning the code that we already have, because that's what you're going to have to do for course, semester, and students. So I'd like to uh, I'd like to show you how that's done. All right. So the first thing we needed to do is to create um, the URL pattern for section delete. Let's do it. Okay, so uh, urls.py. All right. Um, here are the section ones. We want it right after section update. Okay. And the update URL pattern is a pretty good one to clone into the delete. So I'm just going to copy the update one and paste it under itself and change, uh, oh, interestingly, you can see that I had a mistake in the update. I didn't have a closing slash. So I'm gonna fix that now, okay? And now I'm going to, uh, I'm gonna terminate the delete one with a delete slash, okay? I found a bug in my code, okay? Um, so we don't want section update. We're going to be calling section delete. So that's, here's where you have to remember to make the changes. And then the name of the pattern is not section update, it's section delete. Okay. All right. And then we need an import for section it, it, delete. Why don't we type that in up top? All right, that looks good. All right, what comes next? Oh, get delete URL has to be added to the section model class. Okay, let's go to models.py. Okay, and let's just take the get delete URL that we just used for instructor and let's copy it because we're going to use that as as the basis of the one that we do for section. So sections down towards the bottom. OK, and we've got get update URL. Now we've got to put in two blank lines. All right. And then, uh, well, <laughs> actually, one blank line before it and one uh, blank line after it. So now, uh, I've pasted in the code, but now I, I have to change it. Go to the the name of the, the method. It's fine. Uh, the next line is fine, but it's uh, course info instructor delete. Well, it's not instructor delete anymore. It's section delete. 
Okay, so you need to make that change. All right, so that's fine. So we've got that done. So we've done item two. Now we need to uh, go into views.py and create a code uh, for section delete. So the question comes up, uh, we put in two already. We put in uh, registration delete and we put in instructor delete. Which one is section going to be like? Well, it's going to be like instructor. The only table where you don't have to worry about referential integrity, you don't have to look for things pointing at that table, is registration. Every other one, you have to do it. So let's copy instructor delete and clone it into uh, section uh, delete. Okay. So let's go do it. Instructor delete. Uh, we have to go to views.py. And I think we're probably pretty close to instructor delete. We are. So I'm just going to highlight that code. Right down to the end. And copy it. Okay. And then I want to go, let's see, section list, section detail, section create, section update. And now this is going to go right after section update. Put in some blank lines. Okay. Now it's got two blank lines after. It's only got one blank line before. And it looks like it's got some, um, looks like things are in the wrong uh, column. So I don't know why this is all such a mess, but uh, I think I have to unindent this. So it's all highlighted. Uh, I should probably show the highlighting. Got the highlighting of all this code. And mine kind of pasted in at the wrong level. So I highlighted the whole thing. And now I'm going to use a shift uh, tab to indent it once and shift tab again to undent it twice and now I think we're doing better okay now I I have it in the right format but of course that has the wrong name this should be section delete let's change that all right now we've got to change quite a few things. Uh, the name of the get methods, okay. We're not getting an instructor, we're getting a section. So let's do that. Okay. Um, and what do sections have? Do they have, uh, what's pointing to sections? Well, if we look at our, um, if we look at our diagram, let me just pause and find my diagram and I'll be right back. Okay. Thanks. Okay. I found it. Here we are. All right. So, um, so the question is what points out a section? Okay. And uh, we can tell that a, uh, so a section points at a semester, a course, and an instructor, okay? What points to a section? Registration does. It has a section ID. So we're going to want to retrieve a list of registrations because that's what points to a section, okay? That's... That's the link that we don't want to break by deleting a section that's being pointed to by a registration. Okay, so we're looking for registrations. And how do we figure out what we're looking for? Well, we use the, um, we use the diagram. So for instance, uh, let's just think about the ones that you're going to have left to do on your own. You're going to have to do the course, the semester, and the student. Okay, 
So let's just look at each of those. Uh, what points to a course? A section does. Okay, so we're going to have to, in those, we're going to need to create a list of sections. What points to a semester? Uh, a section does. So for that, we would have a list of sections. Uh, what points to a student? A registration does. So for that, we would have a list of registrations. Okay. So uh, when we're doing section, we want to retrieve a list of the registrations that are depending upon that row in the section uh, table. Let's go look at that code again. Okay. So we're going to say not sections, we're going to change this to uh, registrations. Okay, and then we're going to say section. We're going to retrieve the registrations for that section. Okay, and that's how we get this. Now, we don't want to count sections anymore. We want to count registrations. Okay, if, if the count is greater than zero. So now we want to, uh, we're going to want to do not instructor refuse delete, but registration refuse delete. Okay, that's good. And we're going to want to pass it the section and the variable is going to be section and the list of things that are depending upon this are registrations and the variables can be called registrations. Okay. All right. That's good. So that's what we're going to do to send a refusal page. Else we're going to send a confirmation page. Okay, so let's just look at this. The render line's okay, the request line's okay. Uh, the name of the template is not instructor confirmed delete, it's section controlled confirmed delete. Section confirm delete. And uh, we are sending a section and a section. Okay, so we've got we've got the get all taken care of. Either we're going to return a refusal page or a confirmation uh, page. Very good. Now, the get object is used by both of these things to retrieve their object. It's polite for us. Uh, oh, the only thing we have to do is, uh, it's not a matter of politeness, it, it's a matter of necessity here. We need, we need to send the right kind of object. So we're looking for a section object. So we need to send the name of the section class instead of the instructor uh, class. And the only thing that we have left is the post. It's actually going to do the delete. Okay, so uh, the method header is okay. We're not going to be uh, retrieving an instructor. We're going to be retrieving a section. Okay, uh, we're going to delete that section, use that name, and we're going to redirect to the list for section. Okay, that looks pretty good. Okay, so I think that's all the view code. Let's go look at our list of things that we've got to do. Okay, we did the view co code. That was item three. Item four is uh, confirm delete. So we're going to need a section confirm delete. Let's do that. So how we're going to do that? Well, we're going to do that by cloning. We have an instructor confirm delete. Let's uh, uh, copy that and uh, paste it in with the templates again. 
and change the name to section confirm delete. Okay, and click on OK. All right. Uh, so we don't want it to say it delete instructor. We want it to say delete section up in the title. And then down here, uh, the URL is going to be the section get delete URL. That looks good. Uh, the post is okay. The anti-hacking tokens okay. Uh, are sure that you want to delete? It's an instructor. It's section, okay. And then in the the template it, it tag, we want to pop the name out of section, okay. That makes sense. Now down here in the links and buttons, we don't want instructor get absolute URL. We want section get absolute URL. Okay, that's good. That's the cancel. And then the is, submit should have the text delete section. All right, that one looks pretty good. That one's not that hard compared with uh, the next one. So what is the next one? Well, let's just look how far we've gotten. Um, we've gotten down through four. So number five, if appropriate, if it's not the registration model class, well, this is the section, it must be appropriate for this. Create a refuse delete.html file. Okay, so we have to create a refuse delete uh, template file. Let's take the one we had for instructor, instructor refuse delete and we'll clone that so let's uh, copy it let's paste it into the templates area again okay and we need to change its name to section section reviews delete okay all right so that makes sense okay so we're going to say error deleting section, change that, block content, error deleting section again, okay. You may not delete, let's say, section, and then we're going to pop the name out of section. This section uh, currently has the following registrations. Remember, that's what could be pointing to it. And then here we want to say for registration in registrations, right? And then the links, uh, uh, it's not section get absolute URL. It's registration get absolute URL. Okay, and then we're going to pop the name out of the. Um, now, this is interesting. These are registrations. Okay, now you have to think about normally the name of a registration is the name of the section uh, and the student. Okay, well, we're already on the section. Right, so it seems to me that it might be good, although error deleting sections, it's almost like we can't see. Um, hmm. You know, I don't really see the name of the section anywhere else. Let's just say we want the proper name of the registration here. Okay, so it'll have both the name of the section and the student. That's okay. I think that'll look uh, good there. All right. Okay. So one of the things that you have to decide here is uh, what exactly you're going to uh, show. 
in here, the proper name for the registration as a whole would do fine. Okay, so we have that. And then we say return to course info, so I think, section list. course info section list that looks fine I think I think we have that we made the changes for the clone okay we're getting close here uh oh I pulled over the wrong document I'm sorry about that I wanted to pull over the instructions uh, okay so we have uh, we we've created created both the confirm delete and the refuse delete uh, pages um, let me pause for a second and I'll be right back all right I'm back so uh, yeah we've got the the confirm uh, delete a bit template and the refuse a delete a template already cloned we need to add the link to um, section uh, detail to that HTML. So let's go do that. So section detail .html, We've got the link up here for uh, the edit, but now we need to add the link for the the delete. Okay, and uh, we're going to clone this. So let's just go to instructor detail. Okay, we see that. And then we have the delete link here. And I'm going to copy it. Okay, and then I'm going to go back to uh, section delete, if I can find that. Uh, I'm sorry, I'm going to section uh, detail. That's where we are. And I'm just going to paste the code that we borrowed from the the instructor and of course we need to make sure that we're doing this on the section object so change that name to section okay and then we don't want to say delete instructor we want to say delete section and then I think the cloning of that's fully done too okay so that was a lot of changes uh, and we had to do a little bit of thinking and uh, but Let's uh, take a look. I'm going to click on the link and the code came up. So, I mean, the browser came up, so I think it's going to work. Okay, so this is for section. Oh, we're on the section page. Yes, we are. I want to create a, a section to delete that's... Uh, that I'm not going to miss in my test data. So I'm going to create a new one. And I'm going to call this uh, um, it, section uh, delete me. OK, that's that's the name of it. OK, and we're going to say that it's in the, the current semester, uh, spring of 2021. The course is this IS999. Okay, the instructor is going to be uh, me. Okay, and we're going to create the section. Okay, well, that that's fine. That's a section named delete me. Okay, that's a hint. Okay, so, um, so this one, okay, doesn't have any registrations you can see that there are none okay so when i go to delete it it should do it so click on delete uh yeah it didn't give me the refusal page it gave me the confirmation page if i cancel i go back to the detail page click on delete i get the confirmation again click on the delete section button and uh, now it's been deleted and I've gone back to the section list. Okay, so that works. Let's uh, try to pick one that has some registrations, like the one for our class, this one here, IS439AO2. 
AOG, oh, it shouldn't be called AOG, AOG. It should be called uh, AOG, AOU. Let me change that name with an edit. How about that? AOG, AOU. How about that? Update that. Okay, now that looks better. So that's got two registrations. It shouldn't allow me to do the delete. It should give me the refusal page. So click on the delete. It blows up. Okay, template does not exist. Registration refuse delete.html. How about that? All right, I'm going to go figure that out. I'll be back with the solution. I'm back and I found the mistake. So it was a cloning uh, problem. When we copied uh, uh, the code and turned it into section delete, uh, here when I was doing the refusal, I got the name of the template wrong. So it says registration refuse delete. It should be saying section refuse delete. Now, you might have uh, seen that problem and already fixed it yourself. Uh, in which case, well, uh, congratulations to you. And I'm going to click off that and try to come back. All right. So here's our stuff. Let's go to the register. Uh, I'm sorry. Let's go to the sections, which is where we are. We've got this 439 AOG AOU. Click on that. Let's try to delete it. Oh, and here we go. Here's the refusal page. We just had the name of the template wrong. You may not delete section IS 439 AOG AOU spring uh, 2021. The section is is currently has. It should just say the section currently has. So we've got a typo there. Let's go fix that. Okay. So this is in section refuse delete. There we are. Okay. This section is currently, no, this currently, this section currently has the following registrations. Okay, we'll click off of that to get a save. Let's go right back and pick the sections. Oh, we are on the sections. I do that every time. And we want to pick this IS 439 AOG AOU. All right, and now we want to say delete. And now we're getting a refusal. You may not delete a section name. This section currently has the following registrations. And then we've got these two registrations. Now I'm looking at this and I'm going, well, we, uh, I forgot. I, I do have the name of the section here. So I'm thinking it'll be better to just have the name of the student. So let's go back to this template uh the section refuse template okay and let's go uh change that so section refuse delete it's right here all right we're on it and we're pulling out the name of the registration let's uh let's pull out the name of the registration uh pointing to the student field. Okay, so now we'll probably get the student associated with the registration, which I think will be prettier. Okay, all right, so let's click off of that and go back. And we're right here, click on this, delete. And now we just have the names of the students. Given that we already have the name of the the section up here. I don't think we want the proper section name, which is going to have redundant information in it. It's going to look better with the name of the student, even though we're pointing to the registration, right? So we're using the name of the student, but we're pointing to the registration. So that looks good. All right, so that test uh, works. Very good. So where are we? Well, um, 
you're probably pretty tired because this has been a long day. I apologize for that, but I wanted to get all this out of the way in one week so we can move on to uh, more advanced uh, features of uh, Django. Okay, so um, you're going to continue on and you're going to do course, semester, and student. And you're going to do it through this cloning approach that we just used for section. Okay, and all three of these are tables that uh, you have to worry about breaking referential integrity. Okay, and uh, so please do that. And if you uh, model it after the code that we did for instructor and section, uh, you should be just fine. So good luck with that. And I'm going to say bye until next time. Bye bye.